Hey everybody, welcome to the Mud Jug One channel. We have a special treat for you guys and gals. Today we're going to give you guys a tour of the Mud Jug facility. But before we get to that, a couple things I want to mention. Uh, it is Labor Day weekend this weekend and we are doing a three pack special. $29.95 for three basic, any three basic Mud Jugs. No coupon code. There are coupon codes out there. So Follow us on social media and some of our affiliates, and you'll probably be able to find a coupon code for 25% off somewhere around on social media. Um, we also have two new mystery mud jugs. They're mud jugs that uh, we don't have very few of them. They're a new design. They're both new designs. They're just uh, nothing where we ran a bunch where we can really do a promo around it, but they are on the website now if you want to check them out. Check them out. Uh, Mystery Mud Jugs. Um, that's about it. We are going to do a couple quick shout outs, stores of the week. Uh, Sweetwater Trophies in Green River, Wyoming. If you live out there, you can get Mud Jugs. Tobacco Inn in League City, Texas. And Harold's Outdoor Haven in Kingman, Kansas. So uh, if you live in those areas, you can get Mud Jugs at those particular stores. So without further ado, to that intro. here uh, we're gonna go on in and go from start to finish we uh, are not allowed to put a big sign up top good old association policies kiss my ass so we had to go with one on the door and this is the secretary's uh, secretary's desk She's out sick with an ingrown toenail or some damn thing, you know, how women are. Um, so, uh, anyway, this is the lobby with the uh, waiting area here with all the uh, current mud jug designs available. Um, as you notice, we don't call 911. Thank you very much. Uh, we'll go over here and this one. My little office, and uh, you know we got a conference table and you know all that happy horse shit. We'll back up. We'll go over here. Now this is the CEO's office. I am not the CEO. A lot of people say I'm the CEO, but I'm not. I'm the president. The CEO, he's the guy that doesn't do shit. That's why he's not even here today. And uh, this is his office. So, let's go back out here, cameraman. So, there's the shitter. And we'll come back here. This is our fancy shipping area. There's old Jeff Ralph. Say hi, Jeff. What's up, guys? He gets stuck back here because he handles all the shipping and receiving. This is where we keep quite a bit of our inventory. This is where we package up orders and get it handled. We throw all the shit in these, what are these called, Jeff? BBs? BBs. Yeah, BBs. And the USPS, US Postal Service, that is, truck, comes and picks them up every day, 2.30. Um, so we're going to go back here in the warehouse. We'll get to those offices over there later. So, oh, oh, hot as pits out here. So we got some pallet racks over here. We're going to add another one on the other side because we're running out of room already. Um, we just got a uh, shipment of mud jugs in today from RPM Plastics in Anaheim. That's who runs our product for us. We don't 
buy those fancy hundred thousand dollar plastic press machines. Uh, Anaheim is in California. Last time I checked, that is and still was, was and is in America, just <laughs> so you know. But what we do is we get the parts from them and then we assemble here. So we got a delivery today from our plastic molding company. That's right, that's in Anaheim, California. And you wanna take a shot of that truck there? So, let's go back here real quick. And the boys are getting ready over here to uh, do some, we sonic weldies together. Uh, basically melts the plastic together. So we're getting ready to do some blue. Um, and what else? Oh, there's our fancy steak bed truck. No, we got stickers on there, mud joke stickers. Forklift, oh shit, I gotta remember to unplug that forklift later, shoot, burn it up. Um, so, there you have it. We'll go back in here and maybe check out the rest of the office inside here. Well, a little bit over here, we are gonna see if these guys are doing any work. <laughs> and chances are they're, they're not. But, so here is one desk. This is Garrett's desk. He's actually uh, at the doctor right now. Um, he lives at the doctor. But uh, Garrett handles, uh, he is the VP of uh, uh, sales for uh, wholesale, retail. Um, and he handles a lot of uh, customer service as well because his foot is... Uh, in a cast right now so um yeah he's been with us for two years i think um next is colin say hi colin hi colin hi <laughs> colin <laughs> tell our customers what you do here at mud jug um i'm a sales manager so i do a lot of stuff that garrett does with wholesales i also oversee operations in the warehouse out there and sweat my balls off yep. getting your mud jugs ready to get to you on time Yes. And great place to work. Kind of. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thanks, Colin. You got it. <laughs> and this is Chris Shitz Wands workstation. Uh, Chris, do you want to tell them what you do or should I? Sure. Uh, tell them what you do. I am VP of social media marketing. I film Darcy's videos. I edit Darcy's videos. I edit all the photos for the Mud Jug social medias, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and uh, I do all the artsy stuff. And as you can see here, I'm working on Sergeant Spitter. Little, uh, okay, I don't want to go too far on that, but there we go. <laughs> I don't want to give away too much, but that's where all the magic happens. Yeah. <laughs> so let's check on Jeff. We saw him a little bit earlier, but we're going to see what he's doing. Oh yeah, he Je Jeff's oh, doing God. what he's always oh, doing. Shoot. Oh shit! Jeff. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> What's up, guys? So Jeff, do you want to let them know, customers know what it is that you typically do on a daily basis? Besides, as less as possible. Yeah, we get all the orders to our <laughs> system here. I print them up after they shoot out there. I put them in stacks of one packers, two packers, four packers, whatever you guys have ordered. Then uh, print the labels with the postage. And we hop over here. Nice desk, by the way, Jeff. Nice desk. Nice Copenhagen stuff. A little NASCAR going on. Oh, yeah. Mud jug and redneck. So, come over here to the shipping station where all the drugs are. We just put them the label with what they ordered. Then I'll just come over and get some boxes. And depending on how much I'm drinking, I'm usually pretty correct, but you know, every once in a while, I mess up. but. ACU in black, so we just know where everything's at. Just get them. Just put the invoice inside. Right. Take, gun it up. <laughs> <laughs> Stick the label on it. We 
you shoot her in there. And then from there, when this is full, usually around 2.30, our truck comes, you just haul it out to the back, they pick up uh, all the packages, and they get sent to you guys, if you know your right address. Yo! Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's another thing we do all day is make phone calls, you know, just trying to find out where people really live. Yeah. Because <laughs> a lot of people don't know where they live for some strange reason. College um, students. It's almost 3 o'clock right now, but uh, so basically you've gotten all the pretty much all the orders today. out, right? Yeah. So any orders that we've gotten um, since basically 2.30 yesterday, they're already gone and truck's already been here, so that's why it's a little bit slow now. But, but we could have filmed in the morning, but we were right. all busy. Right. And then you'd see But then again, you know, that's another thing everywhere. too, is where all these packages I'm doing now, they're labeled and they're being emailed to you, sent that they're done. But your tracking number isn't going to be sent to you until you won't be able to track it until tomorrow around three o'clock when the uh, truck comes. So. Yeah. So that's pretty much it. Uh, <laughs> what else were we going to say? Darcy, what do you do at my jug? I make sure all these crackers around <laughs> here are doing their job. That's what I do. I'm a grinder and a builder. Bob the builder? Oh, yeah, too. <laughs>